What has been Jay's best advice to you? In the beginning of my career, I remember Pan de Replay uh, started doing really well. And he came up to me at a showcase and he said, you must be a really great person because great things keep happening for you. Don't ever change who you are. Always remain humble, the same, and it kind of rings in my ear like, every day. Hold up, did Jay-Z actually have a thing for Rihanna? Are those rumors true about Beyonce cutting ties with Riri because she suspected something fishy between her and Jay-Z? And get this, it's not the first time these kinds of accusations have been thrown at Jay. But wait, it seems like the lid's been blown off recently. People are coming out of nowhere to spill the beans on Jay-Z. And trust me, it's way worse than you think. Just the other day, Jaguar Wright spilled some serious tea claiming Jay gave Rihanna an STD. Yeah, things are about to get seriously messy. In case you've been living under a rock, folks have been digging deep into Jay-Z's past. And let me tell you, they've hit the jackpot of disturbing info. Apparently, he's been cozying up with all sorts of shady characters in the industry. And you know what they say about his marriage with Beyonce not being as perfect as they make it out to be? Well, turns out it's true. Beyonce even called him out for cheating and wrecking their family in her album Lemonade. I'm going to talk about the problems in our marriage. I'm going to talk about how we almost lost things. And for her to say, I'm going to talk about my pain and anger at you. What were those conversations like? Again, it didn't it didn't happen in that way. It happened we we were using our with our art almost like a therapy session and we started making music together. Mm -hmm. And then the music she was making at that time was further along. So her album came out as opposed to the joint album mm -hmm. that that we were working on. Despite all that drama, she still stuck with him, which left a lot of people scratching their heads. So here's the lowdown. Jay-Z spilled the beans during an interview in 2008, saying he met Beyonce when she was 16 but didn't start dating her until she turned 18. Now keep in mind, he was 28 at the time. Beyonce didn't really have much of a social life growing up, strict parents and all that jazz. So Jay was pretty much her only real experience with guys, and he knew it. Some folks think this power dynamic is why Beyonce couldn't pull the plug on their marriage after he cheated. She's been with him since she was practically a kid. And sources close to the fam say Solange thinks Jay-Z's been playing this power game from day one, shaping Beyonce into his own image. And if you thought things couldn't get any crazier, wait till you hear what Beyonce's ex-bodyguard, Uncle Ron, spilled about Jay-Z and Beyonce's relationship. Beyonce and Jay-Z will do anything to destroy anyone who speaks out against them. Okay, I get the threats, but you have to remember one thing. I know your deepest secrets. I know so much about you and what you've done. I know so much on how you got where you are. So get this, Uncle Ron claims Jay's been giving Beyonce a crazy amount of, you know, that stuff to keep her under his thumb like he's trying to control her or something now personally we never really bought into these rumors because beyonce doesn't strike us as someone who'd be into that kind of thing i mean come on she's out here dropping albums and hitting up tours left and right so to us that rumor sounds way off but wait there's more apparently jay-z also tried to pull some shady moves with rihanna when she was just 17. back in 2005 when jay was running the show at def jam he signed rihanna giving him major influence over her career. Rumor has it, he was trying to get her to be his side thing while he was still with Beyonce. And get this, Beyonce caught wind of it and they took a break for over a year. Well, we, are, we actually manage her now. Um, we didn't manage her in the beginning. I signed her as a, a, an artist on Def Jam. How'd uh, you know, where do you, meet, where, do you, where do you find a girl like that? She actually walked into my office. She has a lawyer, Scott Felcher, and uh, he knew Jay Brown, who works with me, and uh, they made the introduction. He played him the song, oh. Upon the Replay, which was her first single she had already. Rihanna even spilled the tea herself, talking about how Jay used to lock her up in his office till the wee hours of the morning. But here's where it gets messy. The same publicist who spilled this hot gossip later admitted he made the whole thing up to boost Rihanna's single, Upon the Replay. He straight up said it was a reckless PR stunt and he didn't think it would work. But a lot of folks aren't buying it. They think Jay strong-armed the publicist into taking back his words to save face. But let's go a bit deeper into the whole Jay-Z and Rihanna story and see where it takes us. Rihanna and Jay-Z go way back to 2004 when Riri, fresh off the block from Barbados, 
stepped into Def Jam recordings where Jay-Z was running the show. Rihanna spilled the beans later, saying she was sweating bullets meeting the big man himself, thinking, oh God, he's right there. I can't look, I can't look, I can't look. Fast forward to 2023, when Rihanna snagged the Super Bowl halftime gig, guess who was cheering her on? Yep, Jay-Z was right there, probably giving her a high five. Despite all the gossip, like those wild rumors back in 05 about them having a thing, it's obvious they've got each other's backs through thick and thin. Let's rewind a bit. Back when Rihanna strutted her stuff for Jay-Z, she was just a girl with a dream, fresh out of winning a beauty pageant back home. She wowed him with Ponda Replay, sealing the deal that she was a bona fide star. But hey, even Jay-Z had doubts at first. He and his DJ buddy, Cypher Sounds, had a little tiff about whether signing Rihanna was a smart move. Sounds had to convince him otherwise, saying, trust me, Jay, this girl's the real deal. Now, about those pesky rumors of a fling between Rihanna and Jay-Z, yeah, they caused quite the stir, even reportedly leading to a split between Jay-Z and Beyonce for a hot minute. According to some dude named Jay Randy Tara Borelli, Beyonce was all sorts of confused and needed some space to figure things out. But here's the kicker. Turns out, it was all smoke and mirrors. Some PR dude named Jonathan Hay copped to planting those juicy stories in the press to hype up Rihanna's debut single. Despite landing a record deal after her nerve-wracking audition with Jay-Z, Rihanna was still shaking in her boots the first time she performed for him. I mean, who wouldn't be? She was just a teenager from Barbados, and he was basically the kingpin of the music industry. Rihanna spilled the beans about her jitters later on, sharing memories with her fans on Instagram. She admitted, Feels like just yesterday I was shaking in the hallways of Def Jam waiting to audition for Jay. And she wasn't shy about revealing just how starstruck she was when she finally came face to face with Jay-Z. In an interview with The Guardian back in 2007, she confessed, I remember being extremely quiet. I was very shy. I was cold the entire time. I had butterflies. I'm sitting across from Jay-Z like Jay-Z. I was starstruck. But their relationship goes beyond just making hits. Jay-Z has been dishing out advice to Rihanna on all sorts of stuff. In a 2013 chat with Angie Martinez on Hot 97, he made it clear he's there to give guidance when asked, but he's not about to meddle in her life decisions. Rihanna's even shared some pearls of wisdom Jay-Z's passed on to her like, What has been Jay's best advice to you? In the beginning of my career, I remember Pun the Replay uh, started doing really well, and he came up to me at a showcase and he said, you must be a really great person because great things keep happening for you. Don't ever change who you are. Always remain humble, the same, and it kind of rings in my ear like every day. You must be a really great person because great things keep happening for you. Don't ever change who you are. Always remain humble, the same. And despite the drama that swirled around them early on, Rihanna, Jay-Z, and Beyonce are tight these days. It's no surprise, really. They've all had a hand in each other's success. Turns out, Beyonce might have even played a role in Rihanna's come up. Producer L.A. Reid spilled the tea in his memoir, saying he didn't see Rihanna's star power at first, until Beyonce vouched for her, saying, that Rihanna girl, she's a beast. With all that nice being said, their friendship wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. Back in 2019, Rihanna threw some serious shade at Jay-Z for agreeing to perform at the Super Bowl. She told Vogue straight up, I couldn't dare do that. For what? Who gains from that? Not my people. She felt like performing for the NFL would make her a sellout, especially with all the protests led by Colin Kaepernick. And let me tell you, those comments didn't go down easy, especially since Jay-Z had just inked a deal with the NFL to have a say in their entertainment lineup. He was all about using the NFL's platform for positive change, saying, this partnership is an opportunity to strengthen the fabric of communities across America. Now, Rihanna never confirmed she was throwing shade at Jay, but let's be real, it sure seemed like it. And she didn't bring it up again when she announced she'd be performing at the 2023 Super Bowl herself. But through all the drama, one thing's crystal clear, Jay-Z's got mad respect for Rihanna's talent. He was quick to sing her praises when the NFL announced she'd be taking the stage in 2023, calling her a generational talent and praising her journey from humble beginnings in Barbados to global stardom. And guess what? Jay-Z had her back when it came to prepping for the big gig. Word has it he helped Rihanna get her act together for the show. But he's not the only one in her corner. Her boa dollar AP, 
Rocky has been there every step of the way, calming her nerves and giving her the support she needs. But to come back to the trio of Jay, Riri, and Bay, have you ever noticed how Beyonce and Rihanna are tight with Jay-Z, but never dropped a collab together? It's like, Beyonce's out here teaming up with Megan Thee Stallion barely a year after she signed with Rock Nation. But Rihanna? Nada. And she's been repping Rock Nation for over 10 years. I mean, the numbers just ain't adding up, you know? And remember that time they were caught dodging each other at the title press conference? Word on the street is they wouldn't even stand next to each other or shoot the breeze. The whole thing seemed like it was scripted, and these two kept their distance like nobody's business. Rumor has it Jay tried to slide Rihanna into his side piece lineup, and that's why things got so awkward between her and Beyonce. Sure, they play nice when they're in public, but you can't deny there's some serious tension brewing between them. And here's the kicker whispers are floating around about Beyonce prepping to split from Jay-Z. Word is she's caught wind of his shenanigans and is done with the whole married life gig. They say that's why she's hustling out her hair care line and dropping albums like nobody's business. Apparently the tea got spilled by none other than blogger extraordinaire, Storm Monroe, who claims Beyonce's gearing up for what's coming. That's why she's pushing everything out like there's no tomorrow. So, Rihanna's keeping us all on the edge of our seats wondering if she's gonna spill more beans about what she's seen Jay-Z allegedly do to Beyonce. We're all itching to know if she's gonna drop the bomb on this supposed affair. But here's the thing, some folks are whispering that this whole mess might be why Riri tapped out of the music scene. Seems like she got fed up with all the drama going down behind the curtains. And get this, after her album got leaked on Tidal, you know, that platform Jay-Z owns, she was like, nah, I'm out. It's like she didn't want to deal with the industry circus anymore. Can't really blame her, can you? And there you have it, folks. The plot thickens and the gossip mill keeps churning. Will Rihanna ever spill the tea on what really went down between Jay-Z and Beyonce? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, the drama in the music industry never sleeps. So stay tuned, cause you never know when Riri might break her silence and drop another bombshell. Until then, keep your ears to the ground and your eyes peeled for the next juicy scoop. It's gonna be one heck of a ride.